Hello, Grace with Solutions, and in today's video, you won't be learning how to design this Mother's Day flyer right in Photoshop. So, if you're ready, let's go. So, the first thing you do is to create a new document. So, you go to File and go to New, and then we're going to use a dimension of 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. Okay, 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. Then we leave our resolution at 300 and leave other settings at the default settings. Then go right ahead and click Create. All right, so the next thing to do is right here is to bring in, is to add our gradient layer. So I go down to options right here and I click this. Okay, and I go all the way to gradient. Okay, so I already have my gradient um, copied somewhere. So I'm just going to paste it right here. So I go down to my notepad. All right, uh, this is the first exact code I copy. Okay, come here. Let me select uh, this one. Okay, I click this, then Ctrl V to paste. I go once again to the code here to my notepad. I copy this, and I click this other tab right here, and I paste it. Ctrl V to paste, and I click OK, OK, and OK once again. Good. And by the way, I, I'm going to add the. Uh, images okay to to the description box of the um of this video so you can feel free to practice along so these are the documents we'll be using so like i said i'll add them to i'll add the link to where you can download them in the description box so you can feel free to practice along so the next thing i'm going to do is to start bringing in my image so i'm going to um click this and drag it into my photoshop like so okay and then okay so this is the image uh, but before that let's do our background so i'm going to turn off this layer uh let me turn on this layer and then let me bring in my background so i go back once again to my folder i drag this into photoshop okay like so and i drag it down something like this i click this check mark to drop my two and then i go to my blending options right here so the blending options is just above the last layer so i'm going to click this and go for something maybe an overlay or a soft light and there are the two options or, or you can choose any option that you think is that works best so let me just go for maybe a lighting then i come down to then i come down to where i have the opacity i turn it down a bit so I can turn down the opacity just like so and then I'm going to create a mask layer just beside this background so I go down to my layer options here I click this to create a mask and then I come down to where my two bars right here my two bars is now ensure that um, first of all your foreground color is set to black and your background color is set to white then I go to my brush tool I pick this and then ensure you take a soft round brush okay soft round brush that's this and then i'm going to reduce the size of my brush okay hold on then i'm going to reduce the size of my brush by pressing the left hand bracket on your keyboard okay something like so and then i'm just going to brush off the edges okay to give that cool effect smooth cool effect so i'm just going to brush it off like this okay and then let, let me go back to my opacity and then reduce the opacity a bit further okay something like this is cool all right so next up i'm going to uh okay so next up i'm going to bring in my image okay which i've already done so since i've already imported my image so i'm just going to turn on the layer and then what i'm going to do once again i'm going to create a mask layer so I can brush off some, you know, a part of the image. All right, so I'll just uh, brush off. Ensure once again your foreground color is set to black and your background is white, and then you brush off like so. Let me reduce the opacity a bit further for the for the background. Okay, I think this is nice. Okay, so next up, I'm going to bring in my logo. So I go to my documents, drag in my logo into my Photoshop. All right, and I'm going to resize this. Put it like here, somewhere like here. 
and then resize it for that so it just fits in then i'm going to add the name of the church okay so i'm going to take my text tool and then i type the word all right i drop my text tool then let me use um if the, the font montserrat okay so i'm going to go to my character panel and change this to montserrat montserrat uh, montserrat bold would be cool and then I drop my text too. Let me resize my text. Okay, something like this. Something like this. Okay, let me bring my tool right here. Then I'm going to duplicate my um, the this text here by pressing the Alt key on the keyboard and drag, click and drag. And I'm going to type the word Bible Church. All right, so I think that's done and dusted. Okay, so next up, I'm going to add the word Happy. So I'm going to take, once again take my text by pressing the tattoo on the keyboard, and I type the word Happy. All right, so I'm going to change this to the font to a Montserrat. Once again, let me use a Montserrat uh, regular for this or a medium. Alright, so I'm going to add um, a drop shadow to this text. So on my blending options right here, I'm going to right click and go to blending options. And then I go to drop shadow. Alright, then I click OK. So what's going to happen next is that I'm going to give this a little bit of a little effect. I'm going to add a little effect to this. Alright, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to highlight my text and then right here okay this um you know i'm i'm going to add like a warp effect to the text so right here i'm going to click this and then let me take it by the side and okay let me zoom out and i'm going to where it says style i'm going to click this and select arc okay something like this and i click okay then i click okay once again I'm going to bring it down okay something like this okay I'm going to space it a bit uh, let me increase the tracking to 50 all right so I think it's cool all right so next up I'm going to add the word mother so I'm going to take my text once again and type the word mother all right now as you can see right here um, I deliberately didn't add type the a you know the sorry the o letter o in the word mother okay because i want to add some kind of effect so i'm going to take my text tool and just put some space there and then i change the font to uh let me use uh money what's that font again monday miracle yeah that's the font so that's the so i'm going to use the font monday miracle miracle so i'm going to click this let me zoom out Okay, I'm going to enlarge my text, something like this. So I'm sure you have been following from this video already. If you are, please give this video a like. Of course, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel. And of course, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be aware when I make awesome videos and upload them to my channel. All right. So I'm, so I'm going to bring in my rules. So I hit enter. I go to my documents once again. I click this red rose. Bring it into Photoshop. Okay, put it right there. Okay. I'm going to resize this, something like this, resize it, something like this, alright, so I think this is lovely, and then I drop my tool, and then I'm going to give this, let me add some effects to the word mother, so under my blending options, I'm going to right click and select uh, blending options, and then, okay, let me zoom out so you see clearly, and then I go to my drop shadow okay it's so black then i go to stroke let me give it a red color uh red color then sorry red color let me just click the color and i go let me pick a color from the dress so it's gonna be an exact match okay and i click okay then i come here and change this the position to outside all right so 
then I go right ahead and I click OK. So as you can see, we have a little bit, a little, a very lovely stroke, outer stroke effect to this. Uh, let me go back to my blending options and reduce the stroke a bit. Okay, and I can also give it an outer glow. Uh, an outer glow should be red as well. Yes, then I go ahead and reduce it. Just okay, so I think this is nice and it's making sense. All right, so this is coming together. All right, so the next thing I'm going to add the word, I'm going to duplicate the word mother. Hold my alt key, click and drag, and I type the word day D A Y. Yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the name of. Uh, the client okay so i'm going to do that so what i'm going to do first of all is to go to my shape tool on my right in my left hand side and then go to my rectangle my rounded rectangle all right so i'm going to pick this and just draw a little rectangle just a little shape right here okay uh, and i'm going to give this a white color so i double i click on the color picker and choose a white color okay and then i drop my tool and then I'm going to duplicate this one, so I'm going to hold alt, my alt key, just click and drag it. Alright, just duplicate it. And I'm going to give this um, a gold color. So I'm going to double click this and give it something like, something like um, a gold color. Okay, something like this. And then I click OK. Alright, so next up I'm going to add the name of the, of the client. Alright, so I'm going to change, so I'm going to change the font on this to a Montserrat okay um, I go to my character panel and I go take my Montserrat uh, okay regular okay regular is cool let me just make it uh, a medium I think M medium okay let me just go for a medium okay and then I re reduce this okay bring it here I duplicate this oh, hold my alt key click and drag and I type the word, um, okay, the name. All right, so this is cool. So I'm going to make this bold. I'm going to make this bold and uh, make this bold. Okay, then I'm going to take make this color to be. Uh, let me make this color to be gold as well. Same color on the rectangle. All right, so I'm going to make this bold and yeah it's cool all right so next up i'm going to add the date and so I'm, I'm going to do something kind of creative here with the date so now what i'm going to do next is i'm, I'm going to type the date to uh, i want the date to be around the circle the ellipse okay so you take your text tool and you click on the outer circle now when you point your cursor now this is your regular um your how your cursor looks but when you point it on the outer circle you see that it changes to something like um it changes the shape to something like okay um, you don't see that outer circle again, you just see something like a stroke. Now you hold your Alt key and then you click. Alright? Now as you can see, it has given us a rounded text on the um, outer ellipse. So you're just going to type whatever you want to type. Now, since I already copied the date, so I'm not going to Ctrl V to paste. Alright? So we have successfully typed the date on um, the ellipse. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to reposition this. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to reduce the, let me reduce the font, okay? So I go to my, the counter panel here, and let me just make this something like a 10 point, alright? Uh, let me make it, okay, uh, let me just say 8 points, okay, cool. Now, what I'm going to do next is that, now, if you look at this, hmm, I want this, your, the um, date to begin from, you know, a bit, um, like let it start from somewhere here all right i'm going to drop my take my uh this black arrow key all right so i'm going to take this tool and then i'm going to bring the cursor okay point my cursor to the edge of the um ellipse somewhere like here now as you can see if i bring my the cursor close to the word i typed it's going to change to a forward pointing arrow but if i take it further away it's going to point in the opposite direction so this is what i want so i'm going to hold my alt key and then uh, hold my shift key sorry and then click it and just drag it okay so i'm going to drag it further 
and then I come here and click this and drag it like this okay so I want it to be positioned properly so let's see okay I can still go further so I click this so I click this and take it all the way down and I come here once again and take this further away down again so as you can see right here our date is being positioned properly so I can keep repeating the process okay something like this I come here again drag it all the way down to something like this all right so i think this is cool all right so i'm sure you're having value from this video if you are please give this video a like of share this video and of course subscribe to my channel because i make a lot of graphic design and tech videos and of course don't fail to turn on the notification bell as well all right so next up i'm going to re resize this so it's going to fit in properly just resize the date so it's going to fit in properly i'm going to also change the um, stroke on the outer ellipse to like a gold color okay a gold color something like so all right okay uh gold color okay so it's not changing okay let me let me go to let me click this and give it a stroke okay let me change the stroke to all right perfect it has it's successful now cool so next up um I'm going to add the month okay so this is uh, sorry i'm going to add the year so i'm going to take my text tool and type the word 2023 all right and then i'm going to click it and drag it into into the ellipse and then i'm going to resize this like this cool and reposition it all right so this is cool all right so we have successfully finished this design process